You guys, look how giant this pizza is. I cannot wait to devour it for you all. I also have pasta and chicken fingers, so get that food so we can start eating. But before I start with this giant pizza, because it looks so, so yummy, um, I have to give a huge shout out uh, to Opinion Outpost, you guys. Check out Opinion Outpost if you haven't already. I'll put a link below. Um, a lot of you guys have already signed up. I myself have used it before. It is an online website where you can take surveys from anything from about food to politics to TV shows, um, where companies basically pay you for your opinion and everybody has opinion these days so if you want to get paid for having an opinion just go to opinion outpost I'll link it below It'll be the top link in my description box um, check it out like I said I've used it a lot of you guys have used it it's why they keep coming back to me so a huge shout out thank you opinion outpost for sponsoring this video because I know a lot of you guys love it I love it and you can get cash Amazon gift card iTunes gift card just it's limitless um, but I love them so much so definitely check them out completely free to sign up and I know a lot of you guys love it. I still love it. And Opinion Outpost obviously loves you guys. So um, check them out. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Let's get to eating. Okay, guys. I'm going to be sitting down. Don't worry. I don't want to give you anxiety from <laughs> me standing. I hate when people stand and eat so much. Oh, I have this little, like, skeleton outfit on too today. Um, do you have a skeleton one back here? I better get some, um, something to drink from my fridge of drinks. I have so many drinks because my house drinks galore, baby. Okay. I'm also going to be eating my spaghetti and my um, chicken fingers. I love, 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 love Italian places that have chicken fingers. So yummy. And some spaghetti with meat sauce. One of my favorite meals. So hopefully you guys have your favorite meals with you. Guys, let me just show you this spaghetti with meat sauce real quick because it's so, so good. I get this from the Valley imported from the valley back in the Encino days. Like, yum, yum. So I already had the first bite. The first bite had to be the thumbnail. <sighs> okay. All right, let's eat. I love eating with you guys so much. I love this spaghetti with meat sauce the best because the meat chunks are so chunky without it being a big giant meatball. They give you just little chunks of the meat in there and it's so, so good. And they give you a lot of them too. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Haven't done an eating show in a hot minute, you guys. So much to chat, chat about, catch up on. Um, okay. What should we talk about? I was Snapchatting earlier, so if you guys don't follow me on there, Trisha on the YG. Um, had a little bit of an infection in my chest, but... I didn't get sick or anything, it didn't hurt. Which is not very attractive, and I won't describe it for you because we're eating. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So good. Halloween is upon us. I was looking at um, Halloween costumes. I really wanted to be. <laughs> I don't know if you guys. Oh, let's, just, let's just do that. I really wanted to be sexy Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> I love that they made a sexy Alexander Hamilton. I have some costume. Mmm. So glad. I also saw a sexy hunter costume I just wanted to wear just every day. Mmm. <laughs> what else has been happening? I've been watching Scream Queens. I like the show. Oh, they were Alexander Hamilton too. I like the show, but kind of gets a little like repetitive to me. Spoiler alert! Scream Queens. Chad Radwell died. What the heck? I was like actually shocked. Mmm. Have we talked about movies I've seen lately? Girl on the Train. Amazing. I know I say on my vlogging channel I will go to sleep. I don't know if I hear reviews of it. So good. Justin Theroux. I think that's how you say his name. Amazing. He's kind of a jerk. When I met him on the set with Wanderlust, but I'm gonna be really good at that. Mm. A lot of people relate it to Gone Girl. I've never seen it, so I can't relate it, but a lot of people say that's what their minds are, reminds them up. Um.
we'll get to Miss Peregrine's in a second, but I need to change up these nails because Halloween's about, it's gonna come and go so quickly. And I don't know what to get next, so. I love when you guys tweet me nail inspirations or tag me um, in nail inspiration photos. Not so much on Instagram. I That's my biggest pet peeve is when people tag me in photos that I'm not in. Like, I know that sounds like weird or whatever, but like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like my pet peeve. Like, I don't know if that sounds bad, but I was like, this has nothing to do with me. It's like some person standing at a lake. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, if you're like wearing my merch and stuff, I know that sounds bad, but like, I mean, I get it if it's like, I don't know. It's just weird when people, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. Mm. What else? Miss Peregrine. That movie was so weird. The twins freaked me out. I don't know if I talked about this or if I asked this question. I know I did on Twitter, but no one gave me a real solid answer that I'm looking for. If the twins' is like peculiarity was turning people to stone as it was in the movie, right? They only showed that for like a minute. Why didn't they just turn Samuel Jackson into stone? You know what I mean? Because they did that one guy. Why don't they just do that? I would have. I've never been so pale in my life. Oh, oh hello. So pale because I can't spray tan because of my incisions not prop not healing all the way. Not, it's not that they're not properly healing. They just haven't been healed all the way. So you can't really, you know, go into salt water. You know, definitely don't want to be spray tanning those. Mm. But... I never read the Miss Peregrine book. I read Girl on the Train. I actually read it when my mom was having her respect to me. Um. <laughs> um. Sean is doing um this like Magic Mike skit on the James Corden show, which might already be out. Actually, it may not be yet. Well, depends on It's going to go up. What's today's date? So he's filming at the 25th. It'll probably be up by the 26th. He's doing it with, um, oh, I can't. I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say. Because I don't want to ruin it, but that's so funny. He's doing a, he just told me what they were doing. Um, he's on Ellen today, which by the time you guys have seen this, because Ellen comes, Ellen's already been on most places, but it comes on here in a few hours. He was doing stripping. And he got the Cleveland in his hat. <laughs> I was like, you have to get the Cleveland in hat. I would like die. Mm. And he did. He's a stripper on there too. He's a stripper on everything. I love it. He's been so busy working with. You guys follow him on Twitter or any social media. He talks about it, but he's been working with. Um, he's been choreographing some amazing artists and people, and um, just doing a lot of work. So really proud of him for that. Um. <laughs> mm. Right, that's so funny. Okay, so you guys know I watch other people's eating shows like all the time. All the time. It's so funny to watch other people eat. <sighs> like, I don't know what it is. It is interesting. It's almost like I don't know the appeal of these. Like, I love to do them, obviously, because it's like I love to just sit and eat and talk with people. So if I have no one to talk to, it's like really fun to do these videos. But some people. <laughs> Well, the original ones, like, didn't even talk, really. They would just, like, stare at the camera and show the food, which is, like, I should do that one time, like, a traditional, like, move bump. But some people don't even, like, talk at all. Like, the American ones, I'm like, why am I watching this? Having said that, <laughs> I will sit there and watch someone just eat and not talk. And then some people talk about really boring things, and some people eat really gross things. <laughs> I don't know people might think I eat gross things, but this beer kind of, this beer, this pizza has a little bit of a beer taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It's good. It's just odd. Mm. So, so yummy. But yeah, we want to see a movie this week. We just don't know what to see. Oh, we saw Solly at the Arclight. If you guys follow me on my vlog channel, you already know that. But that was pretty good, too. I knew nothing of, you know, the real story. And it was so, so interesting. 
which made it even crazier that it was a real story. Mm. So good. Getting ready to shoot a music video in a couple weeks, hopefully. Mm. I'd say they're stuffing my face. <laughs> uh, hopefully I can start dancing next week. I'm a five week post op today. So by next week I'll be six weeks. And hopefully I can dance. So yummy. I haven't had Coke in a long time. So good. Mmm. <laughs> this jumper cracks me up. <laughs> Sorry, people on Snapchat today were asking me about it. Mm. You guys, I have something besides my beige bra on. I'm like, you always wear that beige bra. That's my surgery bra. It's the one they gave me right after surgery. And it's actually really, really comfortable. That's why I wear it all the time because it's actually the most comfortable. But this one's pretty comfortable. I just got this one from Target. And it's really comfortable too. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I told this story. I just have sauce all over me. I don't know if I told this story to you guys before. I was playing it last night. This is reminds me of it. And me getting on my face reminds me of it. And one of the oldest guys I dated was like 87. Um, and he asked me on a date. We were both at the T-Mobile store and he asked me on a date when I was 19. <laughs> and I went, I did. I went out with him. And I just, I met him at this like spaghetti place and he brought a caretaker. Hold on, let me show you guys. Okay. Here we go. I might have been running out of time. Okay. And he brought a caretaker. Anyways. I was like, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> And this was a serious date too. Like this wasn't, you know what I mean? It was a date. And she would feed him his spaghetti. And he kept getting it all over his face. And the sauce was all over his face. Oh, bless his heart. It was all over his face. You know, I tried to, I guess when I was younger, I tried to make things work. Even if I knew they weren't going to. I just put it. There wasn't. Any attraction there. But you think, what if this is a great guy? What if this is my soulmate? And I'm passing it up because of age or because of looks or because of spaghetti sauce all over his face. Like, you know? But sometimes if there's no attraction, there's no attraction. Mmm. I really want to make it. It's so good. Mmm. I love spaghetti. It's probably one of my favorite foods ever. Pasta and cheeses. Oh my God, does anyone watch Sprinkle Glitter? <laughs> I love that she's getting so like raunchy with her channel and real. I like, talking about her dating and romantic life. This is so not her. She's so. I think of her. I think of Zoella. I don't really watch any British YouTubers to be honest. Cause I feel like there's too much of a cultural difference. <laughs> like I don't think they shove pizza in their mouth for 20 minutes at a time and chew really loudly. <laughs> Some people like my chewing. If you don't like my chewing, I was like, ew, she's closing your mouth and chew. Some people really enjoy that part of my mood bong, so thank you very much. I don't even think you can see how big this pizza is, <laughs> okay? Like, Oh, as my of course. Like, it's big. Okay, I got a big head, and this is a big pizza. Just so you know how big that pizza is. The people on Snapchat just thought it was like a regular large pizza. Large Marge. And in charge. Oh my god, it's so funny that Sean's over there right now at that show. He's so funny. He does. He's just fearless. I don't know how he does it. I get like so nervous about stuff like that. Like he won't have any clue what he's doing. I'm just fearless. Oh. Um, anyways. Do we have a Halloween we did? Oh, Tinkerbell was the other option because I thought, how easy is that for me? I have blonde hair, just put it up in a bun. Put on some false lashes and I'm Tinkerbell. You guys, Halloween I'm just not that into to be honest. I like the idea of it, the buildup of it, the events surrounding it. 
to actually like, go out and dress up, it's like, oh, exhausting, you know what I mean? Especially in Hollywood, people don't just go all, all out. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting full. How is this even happening? Mm. These are the chicken fingers are really more done. Oh, all that sauce I got right here, fingers. Mm mm. Mm. Sorry, I'm going to start my window and I'm just happy. <laughs> you might take a finger. Mm. So good. Like, is my kitchen clean? <laughs> oh my god, guys, I love you love the Disney Princess um, video so much. It made my heart so happy. I love doing that one. That was a lot of fun. It reminded me of, like, what I used to do. You know, I put together all the costumes myself, do my own hair and makeup, wings. Just came up with silly concepts, shot it all myself, set up the camera, <laughs> wanted to frame. Like back in the day they had those like I forgot those were called all those videos. I did one too, like um stuff girls think they're hot. Stuff fat girls who think they're hot say I did and they just had a bunch of those. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was so good, you guys. Those videos were like everything. So it was fun. It reminded me of that. I love doing my own take on things because I know the Disney Princess thing a lot of people do, but I, ha I hadn't seen it. There is one. I hadn't seen any of that. You know, the OG over here. The OG fat YouTuber. <laughs> mm. I'm getting so full. I'm going to have to put this on, on plates. Mm. All right, guys. It was so good. You know when food is just so good and you're full and you just want to like stop eating but you can't. Me every day. Me every day. Mmm. Really, really good though. Most mm. chicken. Election coming up. <laughs> I'm not gonna even say anything about it, but I do love the SNL skit of it. So funny. <laughs> I don't even watch the debates, and I watch the SNL debate parodies. Mm. Politicians are all crooked at the end of the day, aren't they? They're all a little sketch, a little shady. Oh, hello. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, I went to Colorado over the weekend too. Oh my god. The day I filmed the Disney one, I went to Colorado. I went for the weekend. It was so much fun. I'm going to have a whole vlog of that on my second channel. So check that out. I'm going to probably edit that vlog today. But check out my second channel. A lot of people are saying they can't see my videos. For some reason, <clears throat> the homepage to some people says that I have no content and there's no nothing on that channel. There is. Obviously, it's funny. I don't know why it shows that. Just go to the video tabs, but you should just subscribe so it just shows up and you'll be like, oh, there it is. Mmm. Guys, I'm spent. Spent. I'm gonna restart you in. I made such a mess. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Mm. Don't worry, this is gonna go to waste. I do want to. So that's one thing I do. I got my blanket, you know, I'll just kind of catch you've seen that. But, I think like I need like a little sweet cookie, like one sweet cookie. Like every meal, I have to have something sweet. Someone's like, oh. bless their heart, they're being sweet. Someone's like, you should, um, you know, if you, if you crave something sweet after each meal, you should just have like an apple or like a grape or something and that'll, that'll cure your, <laughs> I'm like, girl, what's your heart? But an apple ain't gonna cure what I crave after chicken fingers, pasta, and pizza. You know what I'm saying? 
that made me feel worse. I'm like, oh, I should probably have this instead of this. All right, guys. But it's so funny. Maybe I should go get a cookie. All right, guys. I'm gonna have one cookie. I'm gonna do it. It's a fresh pack of opening, too. And those of you who are like, oh, look, the fresh pack. It's kind of nice just to have a little cookie here if you want one. Mm. And honestly, I just had terrible self control back in the day where I couldn't eat this one, but now I can. Especially after being full. Mm. I love you guys so much. <laughs> I feel like I should be doing a try on home. I want to try on stuff for you guys. Like, I haven't like to model in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you guys so much. Um, again, check out. Oh, yeah. I think you too. Cookies are hard too. I'm not sure. Mm -mm -mm. I have a box of green pops there. <laughs> I love you guys so very much. Thanks again to the sponsor of this video, Penny Outpost. I truly do love them. I truly do believe that people really benefit from it. All it takes is your time and you can earn money and gift cards for giving your opinion. Like I said, everyone has an opinion. I see it all the time. Um, might as well earn some money for that opinion. So I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. I want to say hi to um, Tim Curry because he's been on my brain lately. I hear my kisses. For my little baby fishies. Mm -hmm. Bye guys. Please pray for this boob. <laughs> Bye guys.